It's time! All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but the same reach. Now here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 166 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Big Daddy. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon. Lee. All right, commit the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have an advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. <laughs> Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one missed. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing, Muscle. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. That straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times in the face. Slips the shot. Able to check the high kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Edge of your seat action as expected so far. He got that knee to connect to the body and if you're the defensive fighter here, you gotta make sure you don't eat too many more. You cannot eat too many. You gotta get the elbows inside. Otherwise, he's gonna land one that's gonna shut everything down. He has a commitment to kick it tonight and it shows. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. And they separate. Big ball from punch land. Now we get back to range. Right hand landed. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. 
the most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Good punch lands. Oh, nice knee to the body, very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Punch is blocked. Nice. Beautiful body. Man, right under the elbow. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Punch over the top. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, you're gonna shut your body off. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder round. I wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of their... Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Get right here. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Oh, straight right. Straight punch land. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Lee. This guy cannot miss the head with his strikes. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. And that he comes knee, through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. He went high on that one. Tanning scraps so far. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Oh, nice right hand counter. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Back and forth we go! Lee's kick is blocked. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Nice straight right lands. Oh, he's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Lee. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So 
hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. All right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. He continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he's out. Whoa! Oh! Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. And he caught the kick. He'll engage in a single collar tie. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there and... Nice liver shot, man. more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Grips the body there. Ooh, head kick land. Hurt. Oh, that's a good right hand. He blocks the punch. Check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Right punches there. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Big body kick. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. Wow! And just like that, the fight is over. He got him! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages.
And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at 41 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.